Did you know that some of the most influential innovators, including Nikola Tesla and Steve Jobs, believed in the transformative power of sexual energy? They weren't just talking about romance, passion and pleasure. They spoke about tapping into a primal energy, one that when mastered can fuel unparalleled creativity, focus and innovation. This energy isn't just about pleasing and releasing. It's a deep reservoir of potential within us. Today, we'll explore this profound energy, its influence, and how we can channel it to take our life and experience to the next level. Sex energy is this natural and potent energy within us. Sometimes it can feel overwhelming. It's often misunderstood. It's more than just about physical intimacy or self-pleasure. When it's not channeled appropriately, this energy can lead to distractions and hinder our growth and expansion, but with the right understanding and the right techniques, it can be a powerful mode of expression and human unfolding. Sex energy is the creative energy of all geniuses. Napoleon Hill. So the author of Think and Grow Rich recognized the power of this energy. By mastering sex energy transmutation, you're not suppressing or denying this force, but learning to harness it. Unconsciously managed, this energy simply fuels anxiety, restlessness, and a scattered mind. But when it's transmuted, it can catalyze creativity drive and a laser sharp focus. And now I'm going to get into solutions so you can actually transmute the sex energy into creative potential. The first is to acknowledge the sexual energy without judgment. The feeling of sex energy is as natural as breathing and as powerful as the roaring seas. By embracing this energy, we recognize its existence and its potential. Trying to suppress sexual energy is just a recipe for chaos. Transmutation of this energy starts with accepting it. After about three days, of abstinence from sex or masturbation, you're going to start feeling it rising up in your body. Simply breathe and feel it and recognize it as a raw sensation. Don't label it, just acknowledge it without judgment. Remember, this is energy that can be harnessed and transmuted. By merely recognizing it, you set the stage for a journey of personal self-discovery and profound change. Next is channel that energy. Now we recognize it, we now need to channel it. You can simply sit and be with the energy and feel it rise up. But there's other times when we're gonna be doing things, obviously, and the more that energy builds up, the more it's gonna be fueling and influencing our day-to-day -day choices, activities, and behaviors. So we must be conscious of where our energy is going if we're gonna channel it effectively. Are you mindlessly scrolling on your phone or getting caught in low-level distractions? You can redirect this force into physical activities like exercising or sports. Think of it as rerouting a river's flow for beneficial purposes. By consciously channeling this energy, you decrease the chance of getting distracted by cheap dopamine hits and instead water and grow the seeds of your dreams and visions. Getting clear on your vision for life will also help you channel this energy. If mindlessly scrolling on your phone seems like the best option, then you'll just naturally default to it. You must remember your life's mission, your higher calling, or whatever self-expression resonates with you, and what just naturally flows out when you're not limited by fear. So this is about tapping into your truth and your conviction and be prepared to make some bold moves. Then you'll have something to channel that energy towards. Discover your passions, your creativity, your curiosity, exploration, adventure, and pour your energy into that. And in case you missed it, go take a look in the description of this video where you will find something extremely valuable. I released a free online text course, Semen Retention Mastery, to help you transmute your sexual energy and have multi-orgasmic experiences. Check it out. Next, immerse yourself in creative endeavors. Sexual energy isn't solely physical. It possesses a creative nuance. While it can drive the intimate physical dance between two individuals, it also propels other forms of art and creation. A dance performance, a painting, the rhythm of music, the eloquence of writing, the logic of coding, the ambition of business building, or any other creative pursuit. 
These are not mere distractions or escapes. They're profound expressions that channel this energy, converting it into something impactful and transformative for the world. In harnessing this energy for creative purposes, we tap into an age-old truth that creativity, like sexuality, is a powerful force of nature. Consider it this way. Sexual energy is a primal force primarily centered on reproduction. It's about producing offspring, bringing entire souls into this world. On that level, it's inherently creative. But also, on another level, this energy also inspires creations into this world. Things that both current inhabitants and future generations can actually experience and derive enjoyment and value from. So by recognizing and redirecting this energy, we not only honor its purpose, but also elevate our own capabilities, producing works that resonate and inspire and enrich the human experience. The next is to practice body awareness meditation. This isn't just a process of calming the mind. It's also a powerful exploration of your inner feeling landscape. When you go into deep meditation, you can redirect this energy upwards, transforming it into a higher form of cognitive and creative force. And so why is this meditation so effective? By developing an intimacy and connection with how your body feels, you become aware of your sensations and the sensory landscape and of those sexual urges. Instead of getting lost in them, you observe and understand them, learning to redirect them to more conscious or purposeful endeavors. This understanding is the very essence of sex energy transmutation. Imagine you're reading a captivating novel. Suddenly, a suggestive scene comes up and you're taken aback by a surge of sexual energy. Now, instead of being swept away, imagine simply feeling the energy and redirecting that surge to dive deeper into the story and your imagination surrounding it, appreciating the complexities of the characters even more. That's what meditation and awareness of your true self really gifts you. You can stay present with activities instead of just getting caught in lust. You can also be conscious and embrace your animalistic desires in a higher reasoning and higher awareness. And by being consciously aware, you don't suppress or ignore, you channel and elevate it. This very act of channeling becomes your superpower, turning distractions into constructive energy. To do this meditation, you can simply sit in a comfortable position, begin by slightly deepening the breath and extending the length of the breath and simply feeling the body from the inside. Feel the morphing field of bodily sensation as it rises and falls and dances. Next is to use the microcosmic orbit. This is an ancient Taoist meditation technique. At its core, it revolves around visualizing and moving energy along specific pathways in your body. The goal? To balance and refine your energies, including sexual energy. So this involves channeling the energy from the base of the spine up to the crown of the head and down the front of the body, completing this full circuit. And by doing this, you're not just retaining your sexual energy, but you're also circulating it and elevating it to a more refined form. But simply knowing about the orbit isn't enough. It needs consistent practice and some guidance initially. To do this, begin by finding a quiet, comfortable place where you can sit or lie down without any disturbances. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, centering yourself in this moment. Next, focus your attention on the base of your spine. Visualize a warm, glowing energy there. This is the starting point of the microcosmic orbit. Gradually, envision this energy moving upwards, traveling along the spine, passing through each of the chakras or energy centers. As you reach the crown of your head, take a moment to feel the energy pooling there. Now, begin to guide it downwards, moving along the front of your body, passing the face, the throat, the chest, the solar plexus, and finally returning to the base. Throughout the process, 
Maintain a steady breathing rhythm. Breathing deeply and consistently can aid in the movement of this energy and enhance the overall experience. Remember, it's not about forcing the energy, but guiding and allowing it to flow naturally. Over time and with consistent practice, you'll find the microcosmic orbit meditation not only helps in refining your sexual energy, but also in achieving a sense of inner balance and harmony. It connects you deeper with your own energy and the universal energy around you. The next is to do Kegel exercises. Now doing Kegel exercises is not only beneficial for physical and sexual health, but is a powerful tool in the art of sex energy transmutation. By doing them, you strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which helps in retaining and harnessing sexual energy, allowing for increased control over sexual impulses. Think of it like this. If you're weak down there, the energy can kind of pull and get stuck down there and you're less able to control and direct it around the body. When you're strong down there, you can control it. You can stop it. You can redirect it up the body and up the spine. If you're unfamiliar with Kegel exercises, they involve tightening and holding the pelvic floor muscles, squeezing and holding and then relaxing them. It's like the feeling of stopping a flow of urine. Regular practice can enhance sexual energy retention and give you greater command over its redirection. It also boosts sexual stamina and overall pelvic health. I highly recommend incorporating this simple yet transformative practice into your daily routine. Tools like this are useful, but some people want to completely transform their life and their situation both internally and externally with the power of personal coaching. So if that's you, go to speaktoalex.com where you can book a free call to speak with me or one of my team to see if you'd be a good fit for working with me in the Awaken Aware program. And for entrepreneurs interested in accelerating or starting a business with the power of AI, follow the link in the description for Conscious Creator AI, a coaching program specially tailored to you. Next is to do breath work. Talking about energy transmutation and not touching on breath work would be an oversight. Breath work can act like the safety valve for pent up sexual energy. In worst case scenarios, when the energy feels super overwhelming, controlled breathing techniques can help regulate and channel it. The way breath work does this is actually by purposefully and consciously activating the stress system through powerful breathing, allowing us to get deeper into into trapped emotions and then when we release the breath and hold the body is allowed to go into this deep relaxed state from where you can focus more effectively and therefore channel the energy more effectively and there's a link in the description to download a free breathwork music meditation. People have been having all kinds of transformational experiences from this breathwork, and I had so much fun making this musical journey. So if that interests you, go grab this free gift. Acting consciously on our desires requires a calm yet alert body and mind. Breathwork is a modality that can help us shift our internal state towards that. It's not just about inhaling and exhaling. It's it's the rhythm, the depth, the consciousness behind it. It acts as a bridge, guiding the energy from the base chakra to the higher realms of our being. In this grand tapestry of existence, breath is the thread that connects our physical, emotional and energetic selves. So by mastering it, we master a significant portion of our human level self. Next is the breath hold squeeze. Think of it like a type of breath work, just that you get to pick how many times in a row you wanna do it. This practice involves taking a deep inhale, fully in, holding your breath and squeezing the pelvic floor muscles, then the lower abs, then the upper abs, and then imagining pulling the energy up to the top of the head and holding it at the top of the head for 10 to 15 seconds before releasing with a nice long extended exhale. 
So why is this beneficial? When unregulated, sexual urges can cloud judgment, leading to perhaps impulsive decisions. This technique has the effect of pushing the energy up the spine so it's not pulling up around the pelvis, leading to all kinds of unregulated arousal. The potency of this technique lies in its immediacy and its accessibility. You can do it almost any time, uh, any place, just in some situations, people might notice and wonder what the hell you're doing. In certain situations, you could use it as an excuse in not giving a fuck. Taking cold showers is the next thing. It boosts the nervous system, increases alertness, and enhances the body's capability to transmute energy. How? The cold water shocks the system, redirecting blood flow and energy from the sexual organs to other parts of the body. And experiments with cold emotion have seen immediate and long-lasting increases in dopamine, the molecule of motivation, and adrenaline, the hormone of energy. The result is an immediate reduction in unregulated sexual urges and a burst of newfound vitality. Regularly taking cold showers can significantly alter the trajectory of your day in a positive way and it might just be the difference between procrastination and distraction and focus creation and manifestation and finally do it consciously sex transmutation and semen retention are not anti-sex and masturbation the power of abstinence and transmutation is recognized but so is the power of consciously engaging in intimate partnership or self-pleasure just avoid doing it as an escape from reality or an escape from your emotions or healthy relationships if you're going to do it do it consciously